What's inside my body? What's inside my body? Under my skin. I know how my body looks on the outside, but I wonder what is inside. My skin and flesh are soft, and under them I can feel hard, knobby bones. My hair grows longest and thickest on my head. Skin covers my body like a stretchy suit. It stops germs from getting inside. I can feel bones all over my body except here on my stomach. Hundreds of small fine hairs grow all over my skin. They help to keep me warm. My bones are like a big clothes hanger. They give me my shape and keep my insides in place. Here is my head bone. It is called the skull. It holds and protects my brain like a shell holding a nut. These are my rib bones. They make a cage to protect my heart and lungs. This is my backbone. It is made of lots of smaller bones joined together so that I can bend, twist, and run. My head. My head is a very important part of me because it holds my brain. I think, feel, and remember with my brain. My eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and skin tell my brain what is happening in the world outside. I smell and breathe through the two holes in my nose. These are called nostrils. My lips and tongue help me to talk and to taste different flavors. My neck holds up my head. The muscles in my neck are very strong. My brain is like a computer. It is my body's control center. Messages are sent between my brain and all the different parts of my body. My nose tells my brain what I am smelling. My tongue tastes my food and moves it around my mouth as I chew. This is my windpipe. It takes air to my lungs. This is my food pipe. It goes down to my stomach. My eyes. My eyes are like television cameras. They send moving pictures of the world outside back to my brain, which then works out what I can see. My eyelashes help to stop dust from getting in my eye. This black circle is my pupil. It is really a window that lets light into my eye. My eyelids are like curtains. They cover my eyes when I sleep and when I blink. I blink about 15 times a minute. This is my eyeball. Inside is a kind of clear jelly. It keeps my eyeball round and smooth and light can pass through it. Like a camera, my eye has a lens to help me see clearly and sharply. Tears drain through these special tubes. Tears keep my eyes clean but nobody knows why we cry tears when we are unhappy. This nerve carries the picture from my eye back to my brain. My ears. All I can see are the outer ears on the sides of my head. Most of my ear is out of sight inside my head. This hidden part of my ear sends messages to my brain telling me what I can hear. The outer part of my ear is like a funnel. It directs sound into my ear passage. There are no bones in this part of my ear. I can bend it like a piece of rubber. I have one ear on either side of my head. Two ears 
help me to tell exactly where sounds are coming from. This is my eardrum. When a sound hits this piece of skin, it vibrates just like a drum. These three small bones carry the vibration through to my inner ear. This is my inner ear. The nerves in here tell my brain what I am hearing. My chest. When I run very fast, I can feel a thumping in my chest. This is my heart beating. Sometimes I get really out of breath and then I breathe in all the air I can. These are my nipples. Mothers use them to feed their babies with milk. Children and men do not use their nipples. When I put my hand here, I can feel my heart beating. When I put my hand here, I can see and feel my chest going in and out as I breathe. <clears throat> I breathe in air through my nose and mouth. The air comes down my windpipe and fills up my lungs. This is my heart. It keeps my blood moving all around my body. My blood never stays still. It is always moving. Here are my lungs. They take in oxygen from the air. I need oxygen to keep me alive. This big flat muscle is my diaphragm. It helps me breathe. My stomach. When I am hungry, my stomach feels empty and I can hear it rumbling. When I have eaten a lot, it feels stretched and full. Put your ear against a friend's stomach. Can you hear the juices inside making gurgling sounds? I can pinch the flesh on my stomach. The fat is like a padded jacket that keeps me warm. Before I was born, I was joined to my mother by a special cord. After I was born, it was tied and cut, leaving me with a belly button. The food that I swallow goes on a long journey through my body. On the way, all the good things that my body needs are passed through to my blood. This is my food pipe. It carries food from my mouth down into my stomach. In my stomach, special juices break the food into small pieces. My food then passes through the long pipe where it is mashed into a gooey soup. The bits of food my body does not want go right to the end of the tube. They leave my body when I go to the bathroom. My legs and arms. I use my legs and feet to walk, run, and jump. I use my arms to push, pull, and carry. Exercise helps to keep my muscles supple and strong. My elbow is where my arm bends and straightens. My knee is where my leg bends. Is your knee knobby or smooth? My ankle lets me wiggle and twist my foot from side to side. My toes help me to balance and bend my foot as I walk. Muscles help me move my bones. I have muscles all over my body. They are joined to my bones by long stretchy bands called tendons. I have muscles to move my hand, muscles to bend and straighten my arm, big thigh and calf muscles to move my leg, and muscles to move my foot. When I bend my arm, the muscle bunches up. When I stretch it, the muscle flattens out. My hands. I can wave, draw, and pick up all sorts of things with my hands. I use my hands to feel things too. 
The skin on my fingertips can feel even the tiniest grain of sand. When I curl my fingers into a ball, I make a fist. My fingernails are shiny and tough. They protect the ends of my fingers. These hard knobby bones are my knuckles. When I make a fist, they look like small hills. My thumb helps me to hold on to things firmly. Try to pick something up without using your thumb. It's very difficult. My fingers are worked by tendons, which are like pieces of string attached to my finger bones. The nerves in my fingertips feel all sorts of things, hot and cold, hard and soft, rough and smooth. The many small bones that make up my wrist are held together by stretchy bands called ligaments.